Hello there. I want to talk a little bit about uh, DEs and irritation, and particularly a daily shaving routine and irritation. There was a gentleman, the name of Tyler Wayne Presley, and he posted on the Craving Shaving Facebook group, and he said, you know, I used to shave every few days, but I've got a job now where I have to be clean shaven all the time. And I'm getting a lot of irritation and a lot of razor bumps and stuff like that because I have to shave every day. Um, and a lot of people were jumping on the, the pages on that thread and they were saying, they were suggesting pre-shave routines or post-shave routines, cold water, uh, moisturizers, all kinds of things like that. Uh, and all of those techniques, all of those things that they mentioned, there's nothing wrong with them and they might help. But what I've found through the years that I've been shaving is that there's one thing that will give you more dividends for, in other words, your uh, the reward, the ratio between, you know, Doing that and the reward, re the blah, I cannot speak today. The reward that you get for it, the thing that I find that is most effective is technique, and particularly shaving, or I'm sorry, uh, lather technique, and then shaving technique. When I, you might say to me, Mike, you know, I've been shaving a year, two years, four years, five years, 10 years, which if you've been shaving 10 years, you've been shaving uh, traditionally longer than I have. Okay, although I could argue that I started out with a DE in the 70s, uh, but I didn't use a brush or, or anything but canned foam. But anyway, that's something that doesn't really matter to me. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to one-up anybody. But what I'm saying is in the time that I've been shaving, there's one thing consistently, well, two things, but it's technique. Uh, both of them are types of technique that has helped me. Uh, I found over the years that I start out with really good technique. And then what happens is I kind of get lax. I get in kind of a rhythm and I forget. Uh, the technique, hopefully, what you do is you concentrate on technique until it becomes second nature and then you don't really pay attention to it, you just continue to shave. And what I found is that uh, I can come, if I come back and check my technique from time to time, I'll find that I might have let things slip just a little bit. And so I need to pay particular attention to whatever area of technique that I let slip. So that, and recently with me, with the straight razors, it was angle. You know, uh, I started checking my angle and found that it was further out this way than uh, with a straight you want to be in. And with a DE, and we'll get to that, I'll, I'll explain as we go. But the first thing is lathering technique. Now you say, well, like I said, I I've shaved for a long time, I know how to lather. Well, so do I. But sometimes we get lax. And the thing of it is, is with a lather, if you're shaving every two or three days or every other day, then, and you're shaving with a DE, then uh, a lot of people say, well, a DE shaver doesn't really need as wet of a lather as a straight shaver because they don't need as much slickness. Well, I kind of see where you're coming from, but. I would say that a DE shaver doesn't notice slickness as much during a shave as someone with a straight razor might. But if you're shaving every day, then that becomes important because the slickness, people say, well, I want cushions. So they pile up these big, huge gobs of really thick lather on their face. They think that that's protecting them, but stop and think about it for a minute. If the lather was so thick that it was protecting your face against the blade of the razor, then it would be interfering with shaving clothes. Okay? 
because if you got something thick build up on your face that's holding the razor off of your face to protect it then it's not going to shave as close okay so that's I don't buy that as a reason to have really thick gobs of lather because I don't think it works okay I think people psychologically think it does and that's you know that can be important uh, I've found over the years that uh, traditional shavers are a superstitious a lot you know and we have things that we think work and if we really examine what we believe, sometimes we'll find out that they're not what we think they are. Uh, but someone might describe cushion in a different way than I do. But when I think of cushion, I think of like a thickness and a resistance in the ladder uh, akin to a cushion. And I can make ladder and, and rub it in my hands and my fingers will, my hands, the palms of my hands will literally float between that layer of lather uh, that you know that's what I think of as cushion and but that's not going to stop a, a razor from getting to your face it's not going to do it sorry uh, we're not spraying uh, uh, a synthetic foam like they have in couch cushions on our face it's lather that razor will move it out of the way and it'll cut so but anyway what I've found that protects my face more than anything else straight shaver, D shaver, whatever, is slickness. If the razor can glide over my face really softly and smoothly without any kind of uh, digging in or anything like that, if the uh, lather has the slickness that I need, then it's going to protect my face because it's going to glide nice and smooth on my skin. Okay. Also, I believe that sometimes that thick, that slickness has moisturizing properties inherent in the fact that it's slick. But like I said, that's a belief. Okay? I don't have any facts to base that up. Remember, uh, just a few minutes ago, I said we're a superstitious lot. Okay? So, you want your lather. If you're shaving every day, I don't care whether you're using a DE or a SC or a... a uh, straight razor or cartridge razor. If you're shaving every day you want nice and slick and one of the things uh, one of the re things that you can look at and see a lot of times that slickness is really more important a lot of times than what we think of is that if you look on the shelves of the uh, department stores, Walmart, places like that where the shaving stuff is the cartridge guys, Gillette and the rest of them they figured out slickness is important, so they'll sell you a gel or something like that, that that's brushless and you rub it on your face. Almost, some of them is almost like an oil, and it makes your face super slick. Why? Because the cartridge razor is a piece of crap. Okay? So they need that slickness so that the blade will cut you and not irritate you. They figured that out. Okay? As wet shavers, we need to figure that out. Slickness is super important. So you should make your lather as wet as you can get it and still hold together. Why? Because a huge amount of time, the amount of moisture that's in that lather is going to determine how much slickness you're going to be able to pull out of that particular soap or cream or whatever. And particularly with creams like Tobbs and the rest Creams already contain a small amount, or well, a greater amount of water than soft soaps and or Italian soaps and um, hard soaps. So they lather faster and they look like they're wetter than they are. So particularly with creams, you ought to be adding more water than you think you should need because we want to bump that slickness up. So then when we're looking at technique, then we need to look at razor technique. And one of the things that I would tell you is if, if you're shaving every day, Find a mild razor. Stay away from aggressive razors. Uh, you know, you don't want to peel layers of your skin off every single day, okay? You want something that's more forgiving. Uh, and the reason being, not just because of exfoliation, you're going to get that even with a mild razor, but because if there's any kind of... Uh, Anything missing from your technique, the milder razor is less likely to cause greater irritation than a more aggressive razor. So 
I like vintage razors, something like, I, and I'll put this on a maggot handle, but something like a Tech, a Super Speed, something like that. But there are plenty of modern razors that are good and mild. Uh, whatever you like, just pick something mild because you're going to shave with that every day. You don't need it as aggressive of a razor if you're shaving every day. Okay? You just physically don't. Also, uh, use a good blade. I tend to use really, really sharp blades in here, but I'm watching my technique when I do. But, but use a good blade, one that you're familiar with. Uh, I can't uh, recommend Astra SPs high enough for beginning shavers and, and everyday shavers. It's just a really good blade. But, but pick a good blade. Uh, and then things like no pressure. Okay, now when someone says no pressure on a razor, what they mean is, is you're going to shave with just enough weight. Same thing when they say weight of the blade, that kind of deal. So that the razor cuts smoothly and it doesn't bounce and carry on like that. But that's it, nothing more. If you use too much pressure with a DE, you will get irritation. I don't care. You're going to get a lot of irritation, particularly against the grain on the neck, stuff like that. If you're shaving and using a lot of pressure, God help your neck. Okay, so that's what we mean. You want enough pressure that it's smooth. That's it. That's another reason you want something slick because I can use less pressure if the uh, lather is slick because it's not going to skip as much. Uh, the drier your lather is, the more tendency you're going to have for that razor to skip because it's almost trying to grab your skin. Okay, the slicker, the better. And then one of the biggest things too is angle. And I tried to describe angle on the post that I was talking about earlier and I messed it all up. This is how you find the right angle for your razor blade. Take your DE, lay the hat flat on your face, see that it's sticking straight out. And begin a with the grain pass and start to drop your hand. And as you begin to shave and drop it, just as soon as that blade starts to cut, that's your angle. Don't drop it any further because the blade is laying like this. It's laying flat against, well, it's actually pulled a little bit away because of the curvature of the cap. When you begin to drop it and pull it down, then the blade starts to move towards your skin the edge of the blade. And what you want, whether we're talking about a DE, a single edge, a straight razor, is the most steep angle that you can get, the closest to your cheek that you can get that that blade will cut at. The more you pull out like this, the more irritation you're going to get because you're not actually cutting. It's not sliding along here. It's scraping your skin. So what you want to do is you want to put that up against your cheek and start to pull down like you're going to shave and at the same time start dropping that hand and just as soon as it starts to cut. That's your angle. Don't go any further. Stay at that angle. Work at keeping that angle nice and consistent throughout the shave. Uh, and you will find that you will get less irritation. And so, I mean, your technique is more important than anything else when it comes to this kind of shaving. Because this kind of, the cartridge razors, they pivot and carry on and they're designed to follow the contours of your face and keep the same angle that the head of that uh, cartridge, it lays flat on your face and they've built the angle into it. Okay, so that it lays flat on your face and as you move, it pivots to keep that cartridge razor flat on your face. These don't do that. A straight razor don't do that. Uh, traditional shaving means that this right here, that's what controls your angle. So, it's important to understand that 
This kind of shaving is all about technique. 100%. All right. Whether we're talking about lather te technique or shaving technique, or even those of you that do it, I don't need anything but a not good aftershave. But if you if you like post treatment and stuff like that, even post treatment technique, it's all technique. And so, I hope that this helps you to understand how to lessen your chances of irritation. Now, when I say that, what I would say to you is that the only thing I've ever shaved with that doesn't give me irritation is a straight razor. Okay. Uh, these razors, 90% of the time. I will get a mild irritation even if all of my technique is correct. It's just the way they are. I don't I have a clue. I don't have a clue why. I just know that's the case for me. Uh, but you can lessen the amount of irritation you get in large part through technique. And then all that other stuff is icing on the cake. God bless you. I I know this was long-winded, but I hope that it helped. Later.